What's up everyone back for another beer review and today I will be reviewing a beer from Browery Rodenbach and they are out of Belgium and this is their caricature a rouge. So they are calling this a Flanders red ale that is aged in oak folders and then in the back of the bottle it says it has a final maceration with fresh red fruit 12%. Cherries, 5%, raspberries, 3.5%, and cranberries, 3.5%. Comes in at 7% alcohol by volume. I believe 8 IBUs at the time of review. I have no idea how old this one is because, well, it has a date on here, and I don't know if Rodenbach does one year or two years out, but it says 2-7-2020, so it could be February 7th of 2020 it could be july 2nd of 2020 this one could have been brewed um, in february of 2019 february of 2018 july of 2018 i have no idea let's just say this is relatively fresh i picked this up at an lcbo in ontario canada and um i think i want to say that this got distribution once again this year a couple months ago so they still had bottles left at one location in the uh, niagara region of ontario so i ended up picking up four bottles and that's because this bottle costs eight dollars and 75 cents canadian which i think translates and converts into about six dollars and 65 cents american at this point and that's a crazy crazy deal and full disclosure, I've had this one before. I actually had this one back in 2000, I believe it was 2014. And it was amazing. At that point, it was the best sour I've ever had in my life. And I picked it up in Cleveland, Ohio for $18.99. And when they showed up in here in the Western New York area, they were anywhere between $29.99 to $34.99 a bottle. So you can bet your bottom dollar. When I saw this in Canada for $8.75 Canadian, yeah, I had to buy at least four of them. I was considering buying six of them, maybe even more, uh, maybe buying them out completely. But I just went with four, you know, let other people try it out. But I wanted to get four. And yeah, so, you know, like I said, I've had this one before. Uh, it's absolutely delicious. Again, that was, you know, five years ago. So I'm hoping that it's still as good as I remember it. And yeah, I can't wait to get into this one. I just remember being blown away by the complexity in addition to just like the fruit character was like, it was just everything I wanted in a sour, plain and simple. Um, you know, it, it was so one of those beers where it's like I drank it and I'm like, I wish I could buy 7,000 of these, right? I'll just throw this off camera. Um, it has a, as you can see, a cork in a cage, uh, like a lot of these big 750s from Rodenbach. Um, <laughs> when I do these, I don't know exactly uh, you know, how I put these over here on the side. We'll just throw this over here as well because, all right, so let me see how this one's gonna come out. <laughs> My hands, let me just, I got a towel over here. Let me grab this towel and see if I can, oh yeah. All right, should I let it explode places? I don't want to, you know why? Because, oh, that's a big, big pop. Look at that smoke, look at that smoke, bro. Look at that smoke. Uh, we're gonna also throw the cork off camera because whatever, anyway. Label out, let's give it a pour. I'm using this huge Jester King. I don't know, why did I get this? What did I, I don't know why I got this. What the hell am I doing with my life? Anyway, let's give this a beautiful pour here. Oh, that looks nice. I got the Jester King because I feel like, I feel like this is the perfect uh, kind of vessel to drink this beer out of. That's just me personally. Oh, this barely even fits on this thing. Holy Christ, it's a huge 750. All right, so anyway, um, this has been out of the fridge for about, about a half an hour close to it anyway so there's gonna be condensation on here but this is probably like the 50 55 degree range so that pours out this beautiful mahogany color uh, almost like a crimson a light crimson uh the head about a two now nah, one and a half finger of a really creamy light pink mixed in with tan colored head super creamy looking looks beautiful yeah let's get a nose yes <laughs> i don't i don't know i was gonna do a fist pump like Derek jeter i was just gonna be all over the place this is what I remember this beer smelling like. This smells like all the fresh red fruits. And then there's this nice like slight tartness, slight balsamic vinegar vibe too. There's a little bit of like oakiness from the oak fooders. Oh man. Little bit of like caramel uh, underlying notes as well, like a brown sugar. Oh my God, yeah. So. I can't tell you I'm gonna pick up specifically on the cranberries or the raspberries or the or the cherries or the, they say 12% fresh red fruits could be a lot of different things. It just has just a complexity to the fruit character in here that is kind of unmatched for me personally as far as a sour goes. And I haven't had you know some crazy ass you know whale white whale sours and whatnot. Just from what I've had, I mean this is not to say a shelf turd, but I mean this was you know on shelves and you could buy this. So it's not like I have to trade for it or go crazy. This just has a complexity that is kind of unmatched, like I said, in any sour I've had. 
yeah, that, that balsamic vinegar, almost red red wine vinegar type of thing is really coming out of the glass now as it opens up, but you still have all those underlying fruits and the, the brown sugar, a little bit of caramel and, and a little bit of like oakiness. Ah, it smells beautiful. I want to get into it. So cheers, everybody. Do a little dance because it's fucking delicious. That's why. fucking so good oh boy listen i reviewed rodenbox alexander recently and i couldn't believe i never tried that one before because it was just all the cherries you've ever wanted in a beer and had a complexity to it and i gave it a 475 and i was just going nuts but i'm like i can't believe that this is just sitting on the shelf i can't believe i've never had this one that one's a damn good beer for me the complexity of this beer it just like I said, unmatched. Unmatched for me for something that you can buy. $8.75 Canadian, $6.65 American. Come on now. Lower side of medium to medium body at 7%. That's cool with me. The mouthfeel, it's spritzy, it's spritzy, it's effervescent, but there is a nice smoothness to it as well. Yeah, incredibly smooth while having a, a pretty hefty carbonation to it, which is crazy, but it, I'm telling you, that's how it works for me. But right up front, those those red fruits, those ch ch raspberries and cranberries and cherries, just it's like an explosion of fruit flavor right up front. Uh, you could pretty much pick out like, you know, half dozen different fruits, red fruits, and you, you wouldn't be wrong. As it passes through the palate, though, that's where that this beer is is firmly tart. But not sour. This is not a sour. This, I mean, it is a sour technically. It's a Flanders Red, but Flanders Red for me, they've never been. They're a good beginner, almost like sour. I got into um, sours drinking multiple Flanders Reds um, just because they have a nice tartness to them, but then they have like caramel and brown sugar and stuff like that. And that's what you get with this one. Right through, the, like I said, right in the middle of the palate, you get that tartness, but then you get. I'm getting brown sugar and a little bit of oakiness from from the fooders. As it finishes, it finishes relatively acidic. I mean, it's relatively, the acidity on this one is decent. I feel like I'm going to have heartburn because this is a 750 milliliter bottle, right? Like, so by the end of this, I'm going to probably have heartburn, but you kind of expect that with the style. You kind of expect that with everything that's going on. It finishes um, a little bit sweet as well. There's not a substantial dryness. I thought this one would be a little bit more dry than I remember. Or a little bit more, I thought this beer was drier. And um, it's a little bit sweeter. Seven percent. I can't tell you this is over five. There is no booziness. There's nothing. It's just so fucking good. This is a world class sour for me. Oh my god. I'm just. I'm okay. So this is gonna be a longer review because I'm just kind of you know just geeking out, just going crazy, whatever. Let me just say this. If you've never had this beer and you live in Ontario and you can get the LCBO, not sure why you haven't tried this one because you like sours and you like Flanders Reds, this is one that everybody should try. If you don't like Flanders Reds or you don't even, you've maybe never had a sour and you just want to try to try, you know, get, just, just try one for the first time or try to get your palate acclimated, this is a great one to, to try because it's not overly sour. It has enough complexity where I think a lot of people could enjoy it. You have all those fresh fruits in there. And it just has a different vibe to it. So I can really recommend this for anyone to try. I mean, I think wine lovers would probably enjoy this one. A lot of people would enjoy this one. I love this one. So there's not much more to say about this one. It's an incredible beer. It's a world-class sour. I can't believe that I just paid $6.65 for a 750 milliliter bottle of this, and I have three more. Um, I might send one of them out in a beer mail to a certain individual, Jeff. AKA no jinx. I don't know if you've ever had this one before. I feel you would really enjoy this one. But anyway, rating on the Caricature Rouge from Rodenbach. It's a fucking five out of five. It is. It's just a five out of five. I'm not saying that because when I drank it the first time, it's a five out of five. I can safely say this is still, to me, one of the best sours I've ever had. Uh, definitely the best best Flanders red I've ever had. And it's just, it speaks to me. And I'm just, I'm in love with it. It's an amazing beer. I just don't know what else to say. It's just a great beer. So I appreciate everybody stopping by for a, another a beer review here on the Beer Patrol. Like I said, the price point on this was 875 
Canadian. I don't know what the price is in the States. Probably not the 20 plus dollars that I paid. It's probably come down a little bit. Probably you're looking like mid-teens or something like that. Most of the Belgian imports in the States are much higher than in Canada, specifically Ontario. Uh, and availability, I'd imagine wherever Rodenbach um, is imported in the US, uh, you probably should be able to find it at some point. It is a, I think a special release. It's not year round. So uh, I think you'll see it here and there each year. But yeah, anyway, I just, yeah, I'm going to go drink the rest of this, enjoy every second, and probably take some heartburn medication uh, before the end of the night because I think I'm going to be all effed up. Anyway, appreciate everybody stopping by for another beer review. Until the next one, cheers.